seconds. Today we will discuss about the thermometer. In the previous class, we have studied about the heat and temperature. So today we will discuss about the thermometer. What is the thermometer? Thermometer is a device, or we can say it is the instrument which is used to measure the temperature of the temperature, which is used to measure the temperature. Or we can it is it is a device which is used to measure the temperature of the body or the substance that is called what thermometer. So generally there are the three types of the thermometer we are used. Is one is the laboratory thermometer, one is the clinical thermometer, and one other is minimum and maximum thermometer. So what is that laboratory thermometer? Laboratory thermometer means it is also the device which is especially used in a science lab. So for the various experiments in that laboratory thermometer, uh, mainly the alcohol are used in that thermometer. So, so I will later I will teacher I will tell you about this one. Whereas in clinical thermometer, in the clinical thermometer, the mercury are especially mercury are used in that uh, in clinical thermometer. Another is minimum and maximum thermometer. In this minimum and maximum thermometer, both alcohol as well as the mercury both are used in that thermometer another is so there are the main the three types of the what thermometer now principle of construction of thermometer the principle of construction of the thermometer states that or this working principle of thermometer states that when a body is heated it expands and when it cools it contract it means when the when the body is heated at the time there is the expansion, yes, and when the body comes in the contract of the cold, it contract. It means expansion and contractions. When it is heated, it expands. When it is cool, it is contract. Means what is that expansion and contraction? The liquid, especially the in the thermometer, what liquid or the gases are used? Yes, in the thermometer, what liquid and the gas are used? Liquid and gas. Gases are especially used in the work. Gases are also used in the thermometer. So, liquid or mainly we can also say that gases are also some of the thermometers. Gas are used in that. So, now what is the principle of construction of thermometer? It means the principle of construction of thermometer states that when it comes to the contact of the heat, it is expand, and when it comes to the contact with cold, it contract. Means this is the instrument of the what? principle of thermometer. So this is the working principle of what? Thermometer. Now let's talk about the what? One by one, its types of thermometer. Now let's laboratory thermometer. What is that laboratory thermometer? Laboratory thermometer means it is used to measure the temperature of various subjects in the lab. Laboratory in the laboratory that is called what? Laboratory thermometer. You will see the diagram clearly. We have seen the there is the diagram of figure of uh, this is the figure of laboratory thermometer. This is the laboratory thermometer. Figure of laboratory thermometer. You will see this is a bulb. In that bulb, a mercury is used. This is a capillary tube, a scaling means it it is filled with the mercury or the color alcohol in this means when this cylindrical bulb this is what like a cylindrical we have seen it is like a cylindrical bulb when this cylindrical bulb comes to the contract of the hotter body yes or no then what will happen the present inside the liquid the present inside the liquid is started to expand in the scale what will happen in capillary tube? It is started to expand. And what is the expansion level? Suppose the expansion up to here. Yes, then what is that? 30 degree. What is that? 30 degree. Means this is the expansion. This is what? The expansion. Means when this comes to the contract of the cold, it means the level of the mercury will have fall down. And all the mercury level comes to the what in the cylindrical bulb. It means this is the expansion and the contraction. 
In year C, he labored with her meter, the cavalry cubal in the state to be in a state line. Puri Kim. It is only what in a state. The cavalry cubal is only a state. In. So it can easily what will happen when it comes to the contact with the order body, then what will happen? The mercury level will be rises easily. And and seen in the where in this capillary tubes. So this is the what that is the various uh, what advantage of using the what mercury in the in the this laboratory thermometer. I will tell you later about this one in the next uh, uh, in the next class about the important what why it is used uh, what mercury is important instead of the mercury we can also use the water but it cannot be used why it cannot be used so these types of the questions i will tell you in the next uh, next class so now let's uh, see so in this uh, mercury what will happen it will be rises off and in the mercury the level will also rise up and when it comes this comes to the contact with the cold the mercury level will fall down so means what is that level the thermometer is the ranges from minus 10 degree to 110 degree celsius Minus 10 degree Celsius to 110 degree Celsius, the rising level of this part, the laboratory thermometer. And this laboratory thermometer is used in the science lab. Like this, take one example. Suppose we have to measure the what separates the uh, differentiate um, between the alcohol and the water. At that time, this um, laboratory thermometer is used. So, no, in these conditions, so there are the various. Uh, uh, various, um, I want to say, various things, yes, various experiments where this laboratory thermometer are used. Now, another is the what clinical thermometer. Now, clinical thermometer. What is that clinical? In the previous, we have studied what is laboratory thermometer. Now, what is that is a clinical thermometer? In the clinical thermometer, it is a what? It is a thermometer which is used to measure the temperature of human body. Means a thermometer is used to measure the temperature of the human body that is called what? Clinical thermometer. This clinical thermometer consists of the mercury, the mercury in the capillary tube. In capillary tube, there is a potential of the what? Mercury. Mercury is present in this bulb. And inside the bulb, in the capillary tube, there is the constriction is used. Constriction is used in the where well, in the clinical thermometer, but in the laboratory thermometer, there is a no constriction. Remind these things. But in clinical thermometer, there is a constriction to be added. The constrictions are made in this clinical thermometer. Means and the rises the what the level rising 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 widely rising. Point is what? 35 degree to what? 43 degree. The scale is in this means it is the constriction of the parametric glass tube having the constriction in the capillary tube near a ball. We have seen near a ball. This is the ball near the ball. There is the constriction is added near the ball. The constriction allow the mercury to rise of the capillary tube while measuring the temperature. It means when this keep come to the contact with the water body at that time what will happen the mercury the mercury started to rises through the in the capillary tube through the constrictions it means what is the what is the use of these constrictions it means when the constrictions are used at the time when we measure the temperature and immediately the level of the mercury does not fall down due to the presence of the what constrictions Suppose here is the constriction, yes, the level of the mercury does not allow fall down immediately. This is the when when this body, when this bulb, cylindrical bulb, comes to the contact of the hotter body, at that time the mercury level rises up, and due to the when it rises up, due to the constrictions present into the capillary tubes, it, the mercury level does not fall down immediately. So that what it gives the what accurate measurement of the human body. What is it gives this clinical thermometer gives the what accurate measurement of the human body. Then what is the normal temperature of the human body? That is 37 degrees Celsius, but in Fahrenheit 98.6 degree Fahrenheit height. So 
suppose the question will become why the constrictions are kept into the clinical thermometer? It means the constrictions are kept in the thermometer which it, because it does not allow to fall down the mercury level in the capillary tube immediately due to which it gives the word accurate result. Okay, now another is in this in this thermometer we have seen that there is the word scalings are used. So no, scaling are used and especially in clinical thermometer mercury is only used. Mercury. Mercury are used in where? In this clinical thermometer. So clinical thermometer are uh, in the point of the view in the for the human body, it is uh, very very important. In our home also we can keep this clinical thermometer and generally you can also use yes this clinical thermometer is used by keeping this the ball into the armpit yes in our armpit suppose this is a, a mercury yes suppose this is a mercury and this is a ball and by you keep this ball into the what well, in our body of the armpit inside the body and you should keep it into the armpit and when this ball comes to the contact of our body to our outer body what will happen the mercury level in this work well, in this ball rising up rises up and after that sometimes you will see that the level of the mercury from where it is arises up to where that is what it is our temperatures okay so in this way we can easily determine the what the clinical thermometer and in your home also you can easily measure the temperature of your body okay take one thermometer and use that same as keep it in the armpit inside your armpit and after the two or three minutes you should remove out and look the carefully the what the level of the what mercury into the capillary tubes okay Next, we will next in the next chapter we will talk about the minimum and maximum thermometer and what is the uses of the what uh, advantage and the disadvantage of the mercury. Okay, thank you, class.